We're joined by Dr. Cynthia Yoshida for today's house call. It is National Colorectal Cancer Month, and we're going to talk about just how prevalent this disease is in the United States. Oh, it's so common. And unfortunately, you know, most of us actually know somebody who've had colon cancer, and that's very sad. So really, it's uh, the second most common cause of, colon of cancer in the United States, second only to lung cancer. And about 135,000 people are affected by colon cancer every year. Well, and how do people uh, sometimes overlook the symptoms? Well, you can imagine how hard it is for people to talk about those symptoms, right? Oftentimes sure. it's things like blood in the stools or abdominal pain. So we may not feel like we want to speak about those things, particularly in public. Uh, so it's super common for, I think, people to overlook them. But it's really important not to overlook them because those symptoms can um, be good warning signs that something might be going on. Are there, um, are there um, certain types of people who are more at risk for this than others? You know, you might think so, and I think the perception by most Americans is, is that certain people are more at risk, but that's not true. Men and women are both equally at risk for developing colon cancer. Um, African Americans actually do have a higher risk of being um, diagnosed earlier, as well as when they get diagnosed, their disease is really more um, severe. So. We usually recommend that the average American get screened at the age of 50, but for African Americans, they get screened at 45. And so how, how do you get screened and treated at UVA or somewhere for this? So the best screening test is colonoscopy, and we don't like sure. to talk about that often, really, right. too, right? Or experience it. <laughs> right. Well, and hopefully we can make that be a better experience for you. Um, but colonoscopy is the best test because it not only diagnosis um, polyps, but it's preventive too. So it can actually take the polyps off to prevent you from developing colon cancer. There's a lot of other screening tests though that patients should talk to their doctors about. There are stool studies that can be done. Um, there are CT scans that can be done. And I think it's really should be an individualized discussion that you have with your doctor. All right, appreciate your time and your insight tonight. Thank you.